It's a little unusual week in the cemetery. We uh, welcomed almost 60 goats uh, to our perimeter area, and they're going to be grazing for six days, eliminating our invasive species. Lots of kudzu, poison ivy, even English ivy that tends to kill our large mature trees down here. In leaves and stems, a typical goat's eating somewhere between 10 and 15 pounds of, of green material a day. They're very sustainable livestock. They're, they're fun to watch. They're, they're low impact. And um, I think we're rediscovering some real old technology that uh, needs to be brought back. Sites like this, where we have rocks, piles of dirt, deep ditches, lots of down logs, the goats, you know, do a really good job just clamoring over whatever they need to and standing on them to get, uh, to get up higher. So they're, they're a great way, especially on highly erodible soils. Um, they're very low impact. A big goat weighs 150 pounds. Um, they're very agile and they don't tear up the ground. It's actually incredible the amount of progress they've made in one day. Um, when we walked back here yesterday, you could barely see anything around you. As opposed to something like herbicides or pesticides, things like that, um, we're right near the Anacostia River. Um, we're quite close to that, um, and so this is a way to control it without using chemicals. Um, and we were especially aware of that because we're in the Anacostia watershed. It's actually much cheaper to hire the goats. Um, we would have to hire humans and as well as purchase you know, pesticides, herbicides, and then we're left with the debris that we clear out but the goats cost about $4,000 for the week, and if you break it down, it's about 25 cents per goat per hour.